What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. So we are near the planet Karumto and we are about to go into an unstable uh, volcano. That's gonna be fun. So let's do it. I have no clue what we'll be fighting here. I think Saeed is maybe a pretty good bet. Um, Let's bring Morden along as well. We got two skill points. Hmm. I think we might want to hang on to these. Morden, nothing new, and two for him, so we can't use those. Okay. Our weapon loadout is fine. Morden can keep his hand cannon. Saeed can. I don't know. Maybe we want to put him uh, use, uh, make him use the S15B Vindicator battle rifle. I mean, let's try it. Okay. Let's get to it. Unstable volcano base, here we come. Primary systems online. Thank Adverse you. geothermal activity has rendered pathfinding function inoperable. Please use manual controls to locate research base. Um Okay. Guess we will. Um, did you follow the lights down there? But there was something we could pick up over here, right? Oh, there are. Okay, on both sides. We can continue downward, or we can. Whoops. Get this stuff. Whatever it is. Oh, it's just gonna be some uh, iridium. Okay, let's see if it's the same thing on the other side. Because if it's just a teeny tiny bit of natural resources, I don't think I want to spend too much time gathering them. But if it's something cool like uh, research data or something like that. It might be worth getting. Morning. Area compromised due to unstable volcanic activity. Yep, I can see that. Guess we can jump across here. I won't get over there. Yeah, there we go. Just some iridium and stuff like that. We'll take what's in our path, but. We're not gonna go out of our way to get it. Extraction complete. Okay. So we want to go this way. Just follow the lights. Is this it? Oh yeah. Cool. Okay. So we are inside a research base in an unstable volcano. Yep, I would say. Quite shaky in here. Data pad. Dr. Case's log. We've detected a, um, a site of incredible significance located beneath the volcano. The unpredictable terrain will make uh, retrieval of any data extremely hazardous. Ok, 
Okay. I guess I know where we're going. Eventually. Data pad. Oh. Same room. Yeah, of course. That's uh, that's my bad. Computer console, locker. Let's see inside a bit of credits. Right. This site was a roadmap leading to the main Prothean ruins. Doctor Aloy and I agree that this must remain a secret at all costs. I will not allow another Eden Prime to occur. The Geth, the Reapers, all of them. They must be stopped. Okay. So it is a Prothean ruin down here. Lock number two. This hellish planet is a star map that points to a Prothean site of major significance. Dr. Oloy and I have mere hours to retrieve all we can before the conditions become too dangerous to continue. We learned too late that the local volcanic instability is magnified by our power grid. If we only had more time to study this, I'm sure the key to unlocking everything is here. Everything. Damn this planet. And everything is falling apart. Killed in a volcano. Okay. Sweet. Whoops. Wrong button. So we are going further in there. And see if we can find some. Something else. Holy crap. Right, always a nice indicator. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste time on that. Holy crap. This place is coming apart. Steady. Whoa, a bit too high, a bit too high. There we go. Well, it's sort of parked, I guess. That it? Data recovered from data station, Dr. Clay's location discovered, landing party extracted from volcano. Okay. Okay, so that was a very short little one. So... Check out these little planets here. Hydrogen helium gas giant has faint ring system, a rust belt of decrepit refueling station and abandoned habitats on its moon. Uh, attack watcher, Krogan and other near do wells. 
living a hand-to-mouth uh, existence with no garden planet supplying them. They trade helium-3 and recycle waste products to survive kidnappings of Maskawa are typically brought to Kobayashi to be released or sold as cattle of out of to out of system slavers. Travel advisory law enforcement authorities of Moscow categorically state that their effective range does not extend as far as Kobayashi. I wonder if that's uh, named after the uh, stuff from Star Trek. Um, a statistically significant number of distress signals have been broadcast from within the 1 million kilometer mark of Kobayashi. Civilian traffic is not advised. Moderate. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother then. Just want to check out what these little planets are called. Moskawa, a dense rock planet, Moskawa has a thick methane ammonia atmosphere. Because of its similar conditions to the Volus homeworld, Irun, billions of years ago when it first formed life, a large Volus university, uh, the Ten Clan Academy, hosts symposia on the planet's surface. Unfortunately, despite their security precaution, pirates, organ leggers, and slavers throughout the terminal system have learned that kidnapped students and professors are a source of easy money. This only adds to the university's reputation as a visit or tenure at the academy is a clear mark of commitment to any science on any uh, scientific res resume. Yeah, it's written some stuff. We can have a few probes. It's gonna be... Oh. That's a good haul. Anything else around here? Oh, there's a spike, but we're carrying a lot of iridium, so... I don't know, maybe there's a smarter way to do this. Like, if we don't, like, exhaust every planet we get to, but just go for specific materials. You, Nambu, a hydrogen helium gas giant, Nambu has an extensive ring system, but only 20 moons. Comparatively few. Its moon, Sumiko, is the smallest moon known to be tectonically active in the Milky Way. Covered with bright fractures, visitors to Maskawa often take advantage of Nambu's refueling platforms. Moderate. Fine. Okay. Um, that was it then. Okay, we need to go back to the mass relay to refuel. Fuel at one half capacity. Thank you, ED. Let's plot a drop jump then. There's nothing else in here. Oh, now we have the uh, Prothean Ruins marked. Cool. Let's go look at Prothean Ruins then. Prothean Ruins were so cool in Mass Effect 1. Like, definitely my favorite planet to visit. Well, let's go to Hoplos. Relatively close, that's nice. Aegis, a hydrogen helium gas giant 
ages was the site of an unparalleled cosmic event roughly 1.8 million years ago. An extrasolar body about 200 square kilom kilometers in size was drawn into ages' gravity well and struck the Jovian planet, blasting enough dust and, uh, and materials into orbit to create the ring. An urban legend has grown over this event. The story goes that if the extrasolar body was unaffected by the gravity well of Aegis and would have coincided with an orbit of Trident and created an extinction level event on that planet. Prevailing scientific opinion holds that this is an exaggeration at best. Moderate, fine. Only has three little planets, so let's check out this thing. Trident, okay. A human dominated world with over 95% of its surface covered with, uh, by salt water. Trident is the home to a dazzling array of life. The oceans are filled with creatures ranging from tiny bivalves to mammoth vertebrates, uh, unequivalent even by Earth, whales, and Ichthyosaurus. Small, Jesus, so many words I can't pronounce. A small archipelagos create what little land there is, and its valuable real estate is fought over constantly. Underwater extraction operations have recovered a new number of valuable minerals from the ocean floor, including iridium, uranium, and dust form element zero. A largely lawless world trident is home to a, a rogues gallery of unethical corporations exploiting the resources of the planet and actual rogues, criminals, slavers, and mercenaries working in the shadows. Travel advisory. Due to extreme weather conditions, all traffic to the surface is grounded. Trident spaceport controls uh, predict this condition will persist until the end of hurricane season. Z element zero. I mean, we have we have plenty of probes. So let's stock up on some stuff. Probe launched. <coughs> Never know when we might need fifty thousand of something. there any element zero <coughs> around here? So far, it doesn't look too promising on the element zero front. Depleted. Okay. No element zero then. Damn it. Oh. It's like a teeny tiny moon. Okay. Makaira, small rock planet Makaira, thin atmosphere has high and high albedo, keeps it from being much hotter than it is. The crust is high in sodium oxide, giving the planet a whiting tinge.
launched. Doesn't really want to spike there. Hmm. That surprised me, that sneeze. <clears throat> Come on, give me something. Says Rich. Go. That's a nice spike, we'll take that. Some more iridium. Okay, down to moderate. Fine. Copus. I have detected an anomaly. Thank you. Um Largest moon, Copus is a desolate place with an extreme thin atmosphere. Its crust is largely silica based and there are no signs of water. Uh, like its parent planet, its high albedo keeps it from being in a total inferno. And when occluded by Makaira, its temperature can be nearly tolerable. Its low gravity can easily be countered by a vehicular or personal mass effect field for comfortable exploration. Okay. So, where is it? There you are. Probe away. Scans have found something. Anomaly detected. Protein artifact detected on sur uh, planet's surface. Artifact site is protected by a powerful energy barrier. Scans detect muted mechanical signature consists with hidden automated defenses. We are going down there. We'll bring this squad. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Not going to change up the weapons. Let's see if we can make this a bit smoother than the last time. Hopefully this area is not gonna fall apart. Okay. Okay, just gonna keep popping up little enemies here. Okay, so I guess we're just following these things. Oh yeah, that's what we're doing. What can we pick up over here? Element zero, okay. So these are actually worth getting. We keep moving. They aren't too much of a threat these days. At least their rockets aren't targeting. There's a lot of them though. I'm guessing in plentiful numbers they could become a problem. Okay. So is all of these gonna be element zero? Because then I wanna take them. 
Yeah, it actually looks like it. Well. They just keep popping up like mushrooms. Need to find two more generators. Well, I guess we need to find a way up there then, because is this uh, what? That one right there. Kinetic barrier strength reduced. Okay. So, come on. Nope, we can't jump that high. Okay, so I have to get up there somehow. Okay, seems doable. Anything behind us here? Yep, they're just gonna keep popping. What did we just hit? Okay, no mind. This is definitely something the uh, Mako from the first game was missing. Actual targeting. Okay. Thank you. Super duper. Um. Oh, okay. We'll just get out here. You, teeny tiny crawler. Okay, not a threat. That's the important part. Data pad. This is spectacular. Time, however, has proven to be the real enemy. Even with those blue sun thugs hired to protect the dick side, we barely managed to erect the shield before the Geth arrived. How can they know our movement almost before we do? I am being. Um, I am. Beaming my thoughts directly to them. Or am I beaming my thoughts directly to them? I must find out how they're doing this. I shall ask Dr. Oloy for whatever help he can provide. More element zero. Thank you. Okay, so are we gonna run into Geth down here? influence is uh, definitely a thing research terminal this looks interesting cool increased biotic damage it's too late for me they're still in my head stealing my thoughts I can't keep them out I've got no choice but to destroy this relic uh, I hope you didn't. That would be a huge waste. So, there's a, something purple and orange. There. Something. There. Uh, and there we go. What does this give us? Oh, it just opens it. Oh, we saw one of these in the first game as well. 
but because of the way these things are made, uh, the games, uh, I wasn't able to interact with it because we had to do like a specific order of side quests in order to interact with the protein orb in the first game. Dr. Case would never understand the deal I've made with the collectors. He's obsessed with these protheans. He would sacrifice everything to learn their secrets. It nearly cost me my life, but I did it for you, Helen. To ensure you remain safe, the damn collectors agreed to spare our colony in exchange for this Prothean find. I can only hope you remain innocent of any of this ugly business. It was all for you, Dr. Robert Alloy. I'm guessing that's this dude. break something oh, why do we always have to touch why do we always have to touch everything whoa that thing uh, shrunk can we bring it with us okay it's research station found protein artifact recovered got the hyper amp bit of credits and some element zero okay sweet commander you've received a new message at your private terminal thank you let's just go do this upgrade first nope biotic uh, damage yep take it Nothing new in here, nothing new in here, nope. Okay, let's see who's riding us. Historic discovery, uh, the burst of energy that can uh, coincided with your retrieval of the Prothean artifact contained coded information. Most of the data was beyond our ability to track, but the threats we were able to decrypt have provided new avenues for research on energy transfer and biotics. It will keep the science busy for, a year, for years to come. The data indicates that the artifact is currently inert and not dangerous. We wonder, however, that if Dr. Case had more time would he have unlocked its secrets? We will continue his research. A land landmark find for humanity. Good work, Shepard. Okay. And Project Firewalker. That was a close one on Karunza, Shepard. A disturbing fact has come to light in analyzing the channel you used to transmit your finding. Unauthorized transmission have been sent from the MSV um, Rosalie to an unknown destination. It's assumed that this is how the Geth are tracking the case and Alloy. The data you retrieved give us a definite location for Dr. Kai's Prothean site. The doctor was certain that the site held Prothean revelations of enormous significance. It is recommended to hit there as soon as possible to counter any Geth retrieval mission any Geth retrieval missions already in play. Okay. I must have come between the last two missions. So we did that. Freaking cool. Okay. Back to the mass relay then. Fuel depot. More probes. More fuel. Mass relay. What else have we got going on? Got some artifact collection. Recruit the warlord, recruit the master, master thief. 
Okay. So we're gonna go to the Hawking Ether and do this artifact collection, which is gonna be on the start of the next episode. Um, and then afterwards, I think we can continue on our main quest of actually building a massive team here. How far do we need to go here? To Burr, okay. Not too far. So, let's just check out the other little planets here beforehand. So, Brow is a standard hydrogen healing gas giant. Almost obvious features. Its most obvious features are a pair of gigantic storm cells. One in the northern hemisphere and one in the south. While richer in helium-3 than a loser, the difficulties of extraction from Serrano's gravity well and stormy atmosphere led to uh, the other gas giant's development. Serrano has over 80 moons, ranging from the radius of 50 to 2,000 kilometers. The Asari Tersicore Council has established an observation post on one of the larger moons to study the planet's twin storm system. Poor. And Alusa. Alusa is a small, dense ice giant with high concentrations of water, ammonia, and methane. A few automated helium 3 fuel stations have been established to refuel the ore freighters shuttling to and from Korang. Moderate. Okay. And Korang. Anomaly detected. Yep. Okay. Initial service of Kerrang noted its high density and active plate tectonics suggested a high internal heat fueled by a greater than normal concentration of heavy elements and radioactives. Early test cores provide uh, proof the mineral riches of the world but distant from the mass relay in the sensory system made it unprofitable to develop until the late 2183. The atmosphere is a smog of methane, ammonia and water vapor, a so-called primordial soup, similar to the conditions of early Earth. However, there are, is no evidence of life developing, uh, developing on Korang's surface beyond the level of simple dextroamino acids. The minimal energy input of the red dwarf Ver has created an energy starved surface environment, though the planet's volcanism does hold open some possibility of subterranean development. Okay, so. Whoops, there we go. Launching probe. Something on our sensors. Scans have found locations matching the description of Dr. K's survey site. Exploring the site could reveal valuable mission data. Geth presence detected on the planet's surface use extreme caution. Okay, so let's go down there and then I'm gonna take a break. So, for fighting Geth, we want to bring Saeed and we want to bring Miranda. Still nothing new to use here. Nope and nope. <coughs> Weapons are fine, I think. Okay, let's get dropped off on Korang then. Okay, are we straight up fighting here? I Scan hope not. Okay. So, I'm going to take a break here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And when we come back, we are going to start fighting a lot of Geth, it seems. But until then, take care. Bye.